Hello, my awesome Cancerians. I missed you guys. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. Cancerians, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So first, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on. While watching this video, <clears throat> whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Cancerians. Universe, please step in, share very clear and important messages for the sign of Cancer. For Cancer's highest good, please. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Cancer in their life? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Cancer in their life? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one over here wants to show up. Ask extra message. Oh, Cancerians, you feel very heartbroken. You feel betrayed. Yeah, you feel betrayed in your soulmate relationship. This is you purposely not reaching out to your soulmate. <clears throat> You've been silent, quiet. Um, you have very high standards for yourself. Yeah, so this is for those of you Cancerians who hold very high standards. You expect the best from your soulmate and people who surround you, like your friends, your family members. Yeah, you hold high standards for yourself and you hold people to those high standards as well people in your life yeah um it shows that your soulmate broke your heart yeah whether they are aware of it or not i'm sure they are aware of it because you are silent quiet yeah you let them go yeah you let this person go <clears throat> oh you have a lot of stress yeah Wow. So those people that did you wrong, and here it shows also that there are some uh, toxic people that you had to let go of in the family and also circle of friends that were not authentic in your life. Yeah, uh, you see, this is justice. Justice will prevail. So yeah, if there's anybody in your life that betrayed you, um, or lied to you, deceived you, uh, did you wrong, they're going to have to uh, deal with consequences of karma. Yeah, you see, justice will prevail. Oh, what happened with your soulmate? they angry. they not happy where they at. This person wants to break this silence. Um, reverse king of swords concerns me. This is not a good sign. This person is not happy about losing you. They're angry. They're not happy. Betrayal did happen because when you add these swords, two over here and five here become seven of swords, which means betrayal. You feel very strongly they betrayed your trust, whether they deceived you, gave you false hopes, had a third party or pulled you in as a third party. Whatever they did, uh, it shows us betrayal. Yeah. Universe, please show us. They hid something from you, but you found out about it. Universe, please show us. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cancer in their life. And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? You are quiet, silent. You have a lot of wisdom, Cancerians. Yeah. You have great intuition. You have wisdom. Yeah. You, with that high vibration energy that you're holding, you cannot be around people that are toxic. Yeah, because they will drain you. Mm -hmm. You have no choice but to release anything uh, that is not of integrity, anything that's low vibration, toxic, not authentic. Yeah. Yeah, I see. This is, ugh, this concerns me because you have a lot of toxic people around you whether it's in the family uh in the neighborhood uh, in the circle of friends at work you have some toxicity there's one person in particular that's very jealous of you you see you see evil eye with claws on top of the ace of wands uh, one person in particular is very jealous of you you may or may not be aware of who it is 
um, the first person that comes to your mind. And if you can't think of who it is, next time you see this person face to face or interact with them, talk with them, you will know. It will click right away. You will know it's them. Oh, I'm loving this. Yeah. Um, new soulmate popping up here for you, showing up as King of Pentacles. Yeah. This is also showing up here as you working really diligently at being financially independent, financially successful. Yeah. This is you bringing that profit in, being very resourceful and diligent at your work or business. You know that you deserve a relationship that's reciprocal, where soulmate reciprocates, communicates effectively, listens to your concerns, expresses emotions, makes a solid commitment, which this clearly shows it did not happen with this soulmate. That's why you had to release them. The ego is deeply hurt that you let them go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So listen carefully. This was a serious uh, connection that ooh, was heading the wrong way. You see this? So you had no choice but to release this very toxic connection. Yeah, you had to release it. Um, this also showed me another very important message. There's somebody else out there that is watching you um, that's interested in you, but that person is involved with somebody else. They're looking for something for nothing, like a fair fling, a one night stand. You know who it is. Uh, they want to get your attention, but they are very toxic and they are in dysfunctional relationship that they're not happy in, but they're scared of leaving or can leave because of some kind of uh, financial agreements. Ugh, yeah. Definitely, 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 Cancerians, um, protect your energy and continue holding those high standards. When you hold high standards, toxic people do not belong in your life because all they will do is drain you. This is you meeting another soulmate who is of high vibration like you. I love King of Pentacles energy. King of Pentacles is someone who you can have a relationship with that's reciprocal, that's healthy, you see. King of Pentacles describes a person, man or woman, could be any astrological sign, that is capable of reciprocating, communicating effectively, expressing emotions, making a commitment, listening to your concerns, you see. Somebody who's not going to play mind games with you and put your life on hold. Yeah, this is who you want to deal with. Oh my gosh, you have some jealousy towards you at your job or business. So you know, when people are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Continue doing what you've been doing. Keep being proactive. Yeah, keep being passionate. This is success at your job or business. Yeah, definitely continue walking away from toxic people, toxic relatives, fake friends. You see, uh, this energy does not belong in your life. Now, the person that is toxic, that is interested in you, that's in a relationship with somebody else, somebody other than the soulmate you released, um, is very attracted to you physically. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here with your soulmate popping up here in your subconscious position. That means they're thinking of you a lot and want to break silence and communicate with you. It was to show us what's coming up for cancer in their life and how is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey. You walked away from them. Yeah, you walked away. Yeah, this is you letting them go. This person wants to so badly communicate with you. This shows unexpected communication. Ooh, they fold themselves for losing you. This is them feeling enormous amount of guilt, shame, regret. Their conscience is bothering them. So they recognize they made some serious mistakes, errors, and that's why they're not with you. They deeply regret losing you. They think you're done with them, that you no longer love them. Yeah, they want to be brave enough, courageous enough to approach you with communication. This person is not able to move on. They're not able to release you, let you go. Now, let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Now, we're going to ask about them, even though they already showed up in your reading. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Cancer. 
And how is this soulmate of Cancer towards Cancer at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Cancer? And how is the soulmate of Cancer towards Cancer at this time? Yeah, I see. This is them missing you, reminiscing of you, thinking of you day and night, wanting a reunion with you. You guys have shared past life, uh, past lives uh, in the past. Yeah, so past life history showing up here. The two of you were involved in some kind of deep connections because this shows the way it's painted. You, you see a child, toys, and a pet. So you were in some serious uh, in past lives, some of those past lives, you were in some serious uh, connections like uh, matrimony, having family together. <clears throat> this person does love you, but uh, the cups are empty. Uh, this person did not express to you how they truly feel about you, how much you mean to them. They haven't made solid commitment. Yeah, they left you there hanging not telling you where this is going, not going, not giving you any de uh, concrete answers to your questions, not listening to your concerns, not communicating effectively. Yeah. Deep down inside, they're yearning for long-term relationship. Yeah. Wow. This is serious. Four of Wands with hair of hand, marriage commitment. They want so badly communicate with you. This is them awaiting for this communication to happen. Yeah, they want to communicate, reach out to you, even though they've been holding back. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer and how is the soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time? Yeah, they're very slow to action though. This person is extremely slow to action. Uh, they're showing up as Knight of Pentacles, which happens to be my favorite knight. This means they want to bring you some kind of offer, not just empty talk, cheap promises. Yeah, you see, six of cups showing up twice from two different tarot decks. So this person is missing you a lot, uh, reminiscing of you, missing you, loving you. They're spying on you through videos like this, social media, any way they can. They're checking up on you heavily to see what's going on in your life, trying to figure out what your mindset is as far as they are concerned. They feel you are the one, the world card. This person feels you are the one for them. Hmm. A lot of you are dealing with Leo, Taurus. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Cancer and how is the soulmate of Cancer towards Cancer at this time? Yeah, you did walk away from them. You let them go. This person did, in fact, try to let you go completely, not think of you, not miss you, and it didn't work. They're not able to let you go emotionally. Yeah. Oh, you told them off. You told them goodbye. You told them what time it is. Yeah, you did. You cut them out of your life. You were very honest, direct, blunt in some cases. You didn't sugarcoat as to why you are so disappointed. This person is kind of concerned because they view you as very guarded emotionally towards them, not trusting them. They know you don't trust this situation. You were very honest. They respect you for being upfront, not sugarcoating. Yeah. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo and Libra. Oh, the worst card in the whole deck. Three of Swords. This person is deeply heartbroken, devastated over losing you. But you see how it's painted. They have their hand over their mouth and you see tears coming down their cheeks, which shows me that this person doesn't want to express how deeply heartbroken they feel, devastated emotionally they feel over losing you. Yeah, they. but this combination shows me that this person has been through major heartbreak through failed relationships. So they're not so much scared of uh, making a commitment as they are scared of failing in a commitment. You see, they have memories of their past relationships failing and there were painful memories, are painful memories that they still think of, uh, think about. And it, it is really because they haven't healed successfully emotionally. They haven't released the past. They're still holding on to that emotional baggage from the past. It's affecting their connection with you, how they communicate with you, how they express emotions. You see, 
deep down inside this person is yearning for long-term relationship this shows that they did in fact cause you a lot of heartbreak yeah they did they didn't uh, show you love they didn't reciprocate they didn't show you appreciation not that they didn't want to they just didn't know how yeah so this person cares for you deeply but they have very hard time expressing emotions whether positive or negative making a commitment universe please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cancer yeah i see you are the catalyst in the life major changes in their life happening thanks to you changes that they need to go through in order to grow and learn they miss you a lot and i mean a lot this person is missing you they love you a lot you put a lot of love into this connection which they didn't reciprocate they didn't know how they do love you yeah they do this is them trying to learn from their mistakes yeah not to repeat the same errors yeah King Sirius, we're going to go into your extended reading. Yeah, I see. You need to let toxic people, toxic relatives, fake friends, people that are not authentic in your life, that cause you stress, bring you drama. Uh, yeah, you need to walk away from people like that because you hold very high vibration energy and you're going to get depressed if you hang around people like this. Yeah. Your soulmate feels enormous amount of guilt for losing you. You see, they're not able to move on. They want to apologize to you. <clears throat> this means apology. So they see very clearly now that they lost you, that they've made some serious mistakes, errors, and that's why they're not with you. You have to let them go. Uh, Kinserians, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine long-term intentions and plans for you at this time what they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you what they have up their sleeve whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including the new soulmate that showed up as king of pentacles new soulmate new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family members friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so king Sirians, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys